The Secrets of the Small World. This is a film where nothing is invented. Miracles indeed do happen, but in another world, the mysterious world, which is so near that you can actually touch it, but it is so small that you cannot notice it. This is a story about the secrets of the small world. The characters in the movie are real. They inhabited the world millions of years before man. They fly, they dance, they court each other, and often they are real gentlemen. They protect their loved ones, often endangering their own lives to win their benevolence and afterwards are spurned or eaten. They aren't eight-legged monsters from horror movies. They are only spiders. They are the most resourceful hunters in the world of small creatures. A world full of predators who disguise themselves and stalk chase and stifle or kill with only one bite. The spider has all these skills while waiting silently on his own creation, his cobweb. This exceptional creation is a cozy home, a secure habitat, hunting platform, place for raising young ones, and both a means of population movement and orientation. The spider demonstrates his skills of building and using the cobweb in the first film of the series, The Secrets of the Small World, called Spiders. The film leads us to the southern part of the Balkans, in the valley of the river Struma, in a narrow and rocky gorge which opens at the southern end like a funnel and which has all the properties of Mediterranean flora and fauna. In this wonderful natural phenomenon, the Gorge of Kresna, we will trace from early spring till late autumn the biological cycle of one of the world's strangest and least known creatures, the spider. From the egg in the unique cocoon of the female, through childhood on the air balloon or his mother's back, the journey to his new home, during his maturity, his involvement in wild courting or in constant care of the next generation, till his death in late autumn, by which time he has completed his mission like a lifeless ghost, swung by the cold gusts of the wind on his one true companion, the cobweb. <laughs> 